Thank you, Nana. Thank you, Christina. Thank you, Dion. Thank you, Fred. Thank you, Saidia. Thank you, Nobisi. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Franz. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, Natasha. Thank you, Edouard. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you, Rashida. Thank you, Kamei. Thank you, Dorita. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Aileen. Thank you, Hortense. Thank you, Christopher. Thank you, Dede. Thank you, Tia. Thank you, Naomi. Thank you, Molly. Thank you, Gigi. Thank you, Mia. Thank you, Violet. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Sophia. Thank you, Rabs. Thank you, Barbie. Thank you, Nana. Thank you, Mama. The disaster has already happened. 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 Hold we to the center of remembrance that forgets the never that severs word from the source and never forgets the witness of broken utterances that passed before and now breaks the culture of silence in the ordeal of testimony in the history of circles. Each point lies along the circumference, diameter or radius. Each word creates a center circumscribed by memory, waits at rest always, still at the center. I have been thinking and working with a concept I call the black drift which is, in its simplest form, an invitation to think through and try to hold in order to the phenomenon of black people moving through time and space. And not just this, but the attending reckoning that we black people do with materiality, with embodiment, with affect. It is a method through which I can ruminate on the present, which is really indistinguishable from the past, which is another way of saying that I am speaking about the future, lest we stay drifting on this ship forever, always, and already. Drift, rift, raft, overboard, shipped. Water is the first thing in my imagination. All beginning in water, all ending in water, turquoise, aquamarine, deep green, deep blue, ink blue, navy, black, blue, cerulean water. Water is the first thing in my memory. I and my lesbian sisters and gay brothers are not a new fashion. We return to the sea and the shores, and once upon a time which transposes into this time, which it always was, the past simultaneously forever embedded in the present, in the pain and inevitable horrors confronted by conscientious and blinking memory, in the tragedies and occasional triumphs of history always raveled by so much needless suffering, by the unbearable human misery that we must not for our collective sakes and the continued growth of this body we call humanity ever be denied. Black is in the break. It is fantastic. It is an absented presence. It is a ghost, a mirror. It is water, air. Black is flying and underground. It is time traveling, supernatural interplanetary, otherworldly, it is in between the lines, and it is post-colonial. Black is bulletproof and magical, and in every dark corner, black is social death, Afro-pessimist, Afro-optimist, Afrocentric, Afro-punk, Afro-futurist, soulful, neo-soul, blues, it is negritude, post-slave, always enslaved. Black is like who? Black is like me. Black is everywhere and everything. It is make-believe and magic. Blackness is more universal than universality. Ooh, as in, how did they lose their word? Uh, as in, look at the spook. Oh, as in, the slaves came by boat. 
or as in the slaves were valued for their brawn. Oh, as in what am I offered for this lot of slaves? Ow, as in they faced the shroud of their future. Oi, as in they paid for their slaves with coin. Never being on the right side of the Atlantic is an unsettled feeling, the feeling of a thing that unsettles with others. It's a feeling, if you ride with it, that produces a certain distance from the settled, from those who determine themselves in space and time, who locate themselves in a determined history. To have been shipped is to have been moved by others, with others. It is to feel at home with the homeless, at ease with the fugitive, at peace with the pursued, at rest with the ones who consent not to be one, outlawed, interdicted, intimate things of the hold, containerized contagion, logistics externalizes logic itself to reach you, but this is not enough to get at the social logics, the social poesis running through logisticality. How would you recognize the antiphonal accompaniment to gratuitous violence, the sound that can be heard as if it were in response to that violence, the sound that can be heard as that to which such violence responds? Have you been to the slavery museum? Who among you have ever been to the Middle Passage? Who has been confronted with the water? Have you heard the retching? Christina Sharp says, how does one account for the surviving of the ship when the ship and the unsurvival repeat? How do we reckon with this remembering? Think now of Justice. Think now of Darren Cumberbatch and Edston da Costa and Shane Bryan and Rashan Charles. Think of Sarah Reed and Naomi Hersey. Think of the pigs. Fuck the pigs. Plantation memories speak contours into the afterlives of slavery. Where are these afterlives located? How do these memories speak? What does blackness speak? Think now of the hold. Think of the ship. Queer the contours. Do it now, Rumi says. Take an ax to the prison wall escape, walk out like somebody suddenly born into color, think of black and think blackness now. How do we make art in a country that is trying to kill us? Violence and blackness is always already and only cast inside the mathematics of unlivingness, data scientifically proven, certified violation, asterisk where black comes to be a bit. Indeed, if blackness originates and emerges in violence and death, black futures are foreclosed by the dead and dying asterisks. And if the dead and dying are the archival and asterisk cosmogenies of blackness within our present system of knowledge, a system where the subhuman is invited to become human on terms that require anti-black sentiment, Scraps and bits of black life and death and narrative are guaranteed to move forward, to progress into unlivingness and anti-blackness. Think the violence of transatlantic slavery as a numerical moment through which anti-blackness was engendered and came to underwrite post-slave emancipation promises. The post-slave system, its emancipatory terms, guarantees and profits from and repeats anti-black violence. Dwell on the archival display of the violated body, the corpse, the death sentences, the economic inventories of cargo, the whip as the tool that writes blackness into existence. How might we take this evidence and venture toward another mode of human being so that when we encounter the lists, the ledgers, the commodities of slavery, we notice that our collective unbearable past, which is unrepresentable except for the archival mechanics that usher in blackness vis-a-vis -vis violence, is about something else altogether. How does one account for surviving the future when the song repeats? Hapticality. The capacity to feel through others, for others, to feel through you, for you, to feel them feeling you. This feel of the ship is not regulated, at least not successfully by a state, a religion, a people, an empire, a piece of land, a totem. Or perhaps we could say these are now recomposed in the wake of the ship. 
refused these things, we first refused them in the contained, against the contained, lying together in the ship, the boxcar, the prison, the hostel, skin against epidermalization, senses touching. Thrown together, touching, each other we are all denied all sentiment, denied all the things that were supposed to produce sentiment, family, nation, language, religion, place, home. Through forced to touch and be touched, to sense and be sensed in that space of no space, though refused sentiment, history and home, we feel for each other. The most universal definition of the slave is a stranger. Mati, shipmate, she who survived the middle passage with me. Queer, not in the sense of gay or same-sex loving identity waiting to be excavated from the ocean floor, but as a praxis of resistance. Queer in the sense of marking disruption to the violence of normative order and powerfully so, connecting in ways that commodified flesh were never supposed to. Loving your own kind when your kind was supposed to cease to exist. Forging interpersonal connections that counteract imperial desires for Africans living deaths. Perhaps, as Brand writes, black queers really have no ancestry except the black water. We have no ancestry except the black water and the door of no return. This spirit's only conveyance is each morning, breath, departures of any kind, tapers, sheets of anything, paper, cloth, rain, ice, spittle, glass, it likes blue and fireflies. Its face is limpid. It has the shakes, which is how it rests and rests cutting oval shells of borders with jagged smooth turns. It is an oyster leaving pearl. These spirits have lived in any given year following the disaster in any given place. They are a prism of endless shimmering color. If you sit with them, they burn and blister. They are bony with hope muscular with grief, possession. Ditto and ditto take a trip to port authority. The black drift, see the brackets caressing the D. See the drift, see the rift, see the raft, see the overboard, see the shipped. Explore the spatial dynamics of black interiority, objecthood, and affect through encounters with particular sites, geographies, and temporalities of the afterlives of slavery. See the fragments of prose, poetry, orality, and performance. See blackness moving things. See blackness moving things. See blackness moving through space and time. See intergalactic blackness. When I use the phrase black interiority, I am calling forward the shared sentience that those who are indivisible from blackness, who have had blackness inscribed onto them, experience in their inner worlds. This is not to say that we share the same thoughts. Of course, our reality is what we think very differently. I am thinking more about affect than thought the affect of blackness. What does blackness and its contingent materiality do to the affect of black life? Did you know that if you head south, if you wailful, burrow into blood and soil, become your own derivative, feel the downwards, feel the weighting of gravity, did you know that if you go south, you'll meet yourself? thinking about agency and the politics of refusal, thinking about situating the anarchic totality of blackness in the drift, thinking about what happens when you consent not to be a single being, thinking about affect and fungibility, thinking about necropolitics and the predictability of black life, death, thinking about surveillance and algorithms, thinking about the revealing of an absented presence of blackness, feeling about anti-blackness. The Black Drift seeks to investigate the architecture and geography in the surround of black life and examine the aesthetic, material, psychological, and philosophical contours that shape the non-presence of the African diaspora and the navigation that such experiences require.
The black drift could be described as a kind of call and response to psychogeographical notions of derive and flaneur, thinking through the non-ability of black people to drift or loiter and linking it to a philosophical understanding of anti-blackness, violence, fungibility, captivity, surveillance, and notions of human non-being. The flaneur is the loiterer, who permits the black subject to loiter. Hear now the names of the dead, the named criminals, the sex workers, the working mothers, the black working class, and the black non-workers. My intention in working with the black drift is not meant to merely add or locate to a black subject to an otherwise lacking discourse, but rather to think through and with the black subject and black subjectivity in the wake of transatlantic slavery and in located spaces as it moves through space and through time in the both already fated and in the spontaneous. The black Drift deals with what it means to navigate the total climate of anti-blackness and to do so thinking with and in wake work. Are you awake? Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Have you seen it? No home after slavery. We want to see clearly into our dreams, marooned in music, dark nightclubs of weeping, in never sufficient verses, uncommunicated sentences, strict tears in copper throats, where days are prisons, this spirit is a tenant. She moves along incognito on foot, retreating into unknowing, retreating into always orphanages, due light, paradise, Eclipses, bruised skies, atomic stars, and undeviating ever. Where did logistics get this ambition to connect bodies, objects, affects, information without subjects, without the formality of subjects, as if it could reign sovereign over the informal, the concrete, and generative interdeterminacy of material life? The truth is, modern logistics was born that way. Or more precisely, it was born in resistance to, given as the acquisition of, this ambition, this desire, and this practice of the informal. An image, like many other images, requires our emotive interaction and response of and to it to evoke empathy. Skin in too close proximity, hard metal handcuffs, chains, bondage tools, slicing strips away and eating into flesh, the harsh cradling of the ship by the sea, turning floorboards into sanding devices, grinding away the flesh from black elbows, hips and knees till white bones are seen, of eventually losing singular identities merging into large cargoes, shackled in pairs, transported, marked, branded, sold, ultimate expressions in a final delineation of self-ownership. What, 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 ah, what, what, ah, what, at, er, what, our, what, g, 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 go, o, u, gu, d, wa, 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 ta, o, o, on, o, ne, wa, on the throw in circumstance, the weight in want, in sustenance for underwriters. The loss, the order in destroy, the that fact, the it was, the were Negroes, the after rains. This is, not was, not should be, this should not be, is as I look ahead I am filled with foreboding like the Roman I seem to see the river Tiber foaming with much blood. Rivers of blood, rivers of blood, rivers of blood. I am that cargo, and I is the cargo, and I was, am, is still. I was, am, is, and cargo still. I saw a wave's belly looking backwards, a full unending gasp of water called ocean, shipwrecked and waiting for news of rescue. Any wisp of a dream is evidence. One does not return to the diaspora with good news. And so it is we, 
remain in the hold, in the break, as if entering again and again the broken world to trace the visionary company and join it, this contrapuntal island where we are marooned in search of maroonage, where we linger in stateless emergency in our lies cell and held dislocation, our blown standpoint and lyred chapel in the study of our sea-born variants, sent by its prehistory into arrivance without arrival, as a poetics of law, of abnormal articulation, where the relation between joint and flesh is the folded distance of a musical moment that is emphatically, palpably imperceptible and therefore difficult to describe. Black is the drift. Blackness moves things. Black is in the break. Black is fantastic. It is an absented presence. It is a ghost, a mirror, it is water, air, black as flying and underground. It is time traveling, supernatural, interplanetary, otherworldly. It is in between the lines and it is post-colonial. Black is bulletproof and magical. And in every dark corner, black is social death, Afro-pessimist, Afro-optimist, Afrocentric, Afro-punk, Afro-futurist, soulful, neo-soul, blues. It is negritude, post-slave, always enslaved. Black is like who? Black is like me, black is everywhere and everything. It is make-believe and magic.